So in this parametric equation problem, we have Kirby hitting a baseball four feet above the ground with some initial velocity, and we have an angle that it is being hit at. So hopefully you can determine from just that amount of information that this is a projectile motion, um, projectile motion parabolic problem. So we're going to use the two formulas that go exactly with projectile motion, and those are x equals the initial velocity times the cosine of the angle times t. And the y starts off with your initial height of 4 feet plus your velocity times the sine of the angle times t, and then this force due to gravity minus 16 t squared, as long as we are dealing in feet. So first we write those two formulas, which you should be able to find somewhere in your textbook, or the internet might tell you where they are. But those are the two formulas that go along with parabolic motion, um, for, or rather para parametric motion for projectiles. So if we want to find a reasonable graph, um, you need to think about some things, your experience with baseballs. Um, of course, time starts with zero. And on average, if you hit a ball up into the air, it probably doesn't take longer than six seconds to hit the ground. Even if it's a really high pop fly to deep center field, it probably doesn't take more than six seconds to hit the ground. Um, the x, the distance that it travels, is going to be zero, of course. And we want to see if it's going to go over a 350-foot fence. So let's just put 400 to make sure that the x horizontal distance is sufficient. And then the y value, how high do baseballs go? I don't know. Let's say 120 feet. And when we look in our calculator, we'll see if that's enough. Okay, so there's your initial stuff. So the question says, does the ball clear the fence? So let's draw a picture of this. We have, of course, your y-axis and your x-axis, and the ball leaves the bat at four feet off the ground, and it travels to about 400 feet in such a way like this. So the question says, there is at 350 feet away, a 30-foot fence. So we're trying to add, answer, is the y value right there when x is 350 greater than or less than 30? So the answer to this question is a y value. So we need to figure out some things that, okay, both the x and the y have a t in them. So if I can figure out when, when is the ball 350 feet away, I would be able to plug that t value into this equation to figure out how high the ball is at that exact same time. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna figure out when is the ball 350 feet away. So I'm gonna use this equation. When is the x value 350? Okay, so if I divide both sides by 120 cosine of 30, That's a cosine. That will tell me the time at which the ball is 350 feet away. So putting that in my calculator, 350 divided by 120 cosine of 30, making sure you're in degree mode, I get a t-value of 3.37 seconds. So after three, about 3.4 seconds, the ball is 350 feet away. So I'm going to take that time, and I'm going to plug it into oops, this, this equation up here. 
and figure out what is the height of the ball at that exact same time. So once again, that was 3.37 seconds. So what is the y value when t is 3.37? So 120 sine of 30 times 3.37, the time, minus 16 times 3.37 squared. So I figure out at what time is the ball the right x distance, and then I figure out how high is the ball at that same time. So 120 times the sine of 30 times 3.37 minus 16 times 3.37 squared gives me a height of 24.49, or basically 5 feet. So to answer our question, does the ball clear the fence? That answer is no, since the fence is 30 feet high. And if so, how much does it clear the fence by? Well, it doesn't clear the fence. If not, could the ball be caught? And I'm going to say without a ladder or some serious climbing ability, a, 24, a ball hitting a fence 24 feet up probably would not be caught. So figure out the time when the ball is that far away, and then plug it into your y equation to see what the height is at that same time.